Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Slice Melon video. My name is Kieran, also known as Soaring Key, and in this video, I'm going to be going to tell you top five beginner mistakes that you may even make, even if you're experienced in your Roblox UI. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first mistake with your Roblox UI that you might make if you're new is um, with text. So if you see out here, the text is really big and honestly it doesn't look very good. But just doing two things, um, this is a cartoony style, so first of all we're going to make the text smaller and just center it. And then also adding a stroke to make the text more visible on your background. Look at the difference. Tell me which one do you think is better, number one or number two? I think it's pretty obviously number one. I mean number two, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so beginner mistake number two is not having enough like contrast. So I did this UI for a client, it looks pretty good. I like it. Um these icons are made by me by the way. But um there's a reason I chose darker colours, because say I make this white and then I make this text white and then I make this text white you get the idea and as you can see it is way harder to see on the background than the darker colors I mean on some UI obviously you can't go with a lighter color and if you add a stroke or an outline same thing it basically just that could also improve your contrast really for your text but like see for this UI that doesn't really fit, right? But that's just an example. Alright, so beginner mistake number three is not having like even pattern. And what I mean by this is if you look at these sides, it's like there's not an even distance. Whereas if I do have a like, proper pattern, I don't know if this is exactly even actually. I might have messed this up. <laughs> Let me check. Oh, no, that's even, yeah. So, um, basically, just by improving your pattern, I mean, there's such a big difference, because let me just mess this up again to demonstrate. Like, this looks nowhere near as good as that. Um, so, honestly, just by changing something as si simple as that, it makes it so much easier. And one way you can actually, like, check your pattern is you use a rectangle in the, um, like, gap between your UI contents at the side and then you hit Control J, Control T and then right click, rotate 90 degrees and then put this up at the top and then you know if you need to like, um, let me go in this box, say the box was this big you would know, oh I need to scale it up to there and then the sides will be even. <laughs> Right, so beginner mistake number four is not centering your UI properly. Now, as you can see down here on this equip best button, this text is off center, and a lot of people don't actually realize, but it's way easier than having to like do this manually to actually center your um, UI. So, the first thing you're gonna want to do is hit control, and whilst holding control, click um, on the layer below the thing you want to center. And then you just go onto your move tool and press this button and to center it horizontally and you can also press this button to center it vertically then hit Control H and look it is perfectly center I mean this one I don't know see like on this one I don't even think I got that center properly oh yeah I do <laughs> it just looks weird because I don't know if one's a smaller text I don't know I made this UI a while ago but yeah, that's how to easily center your UI. All right, so the fifth and final mistake is um, not having enough variety with your UI. And what I mean by that is like, a lot of people don't um, do enough styles. So stick to one style, whereas me, this is all like cartoony stuff. But like, um, I got this. I got this, then I got this, and I got this. And if you look, I got like this anime UI. Compare it to that; it's very different. And also, if we scroll down, we can see I got this. I use the brush tool, for example, 
and then like this is more simple this is um like very modern this was driving empire and my word that is very very low quality because of twitter <laughs> but yeah there's uh there's like a lot of designers aren't versatile enough and just by working on creating different styles of ui you can really improve the amount of clients you get and just improve your design skills overall all right guys um before i end the video i would just like to remind you guys that um we have just started a new design agency we will be selling stuff such as ui logos uh gfx game passes and um yeah if you guys would be interested in placing an order i will put the invite link on the screen and i will see you in the next video